Hello friends. Welcome to my new data structures and algorithms in Java tutorial series video. Friends. In our previous tutorial we saw, how to create a linked list in Java. In this tutorial we will discuss, how to print elements of a linked list in Java. Let's print elements of linked list shown in slide. Below is the algorithm for this. Initially, output is empty. We will create a temporary node by name current. Initially, it points to null value. Let's execute below algorithm and see how it print elements in a linked list. First step is to make current node point to head. Second step is to execute few steps in a while loop. The while loop executes till current node is equal to null. It simply means, when current node becomes null, the list has reached its end. And there are no more elements to print. Currently, current node points to head, which is not null. Thus, statements in a while loop executes. First statement prints data of current node on console. And the output displays as 10. Moving to next step. Here currently, current node points to head, and current's next points to second node. Second statement assigns current's next node to current. That is, it traverses current node to second node. Now again it checks for while loop condition. Current node points to second node, which is not null. Therefore it again executes statement in a while loop as demonstrated. Output now becomes 10 and 8. And current node now points to third node. Similarly, now again it checks for while loop condition. Current node points to third node, which is not null. Therefore it again executes statement in a while loop as demonstrated. Output now becomes 10, 8 and 1. And current node now points to fourth node. Once again, it checks for while loop condition. Current node points to fourth node, which is not null. Therefore it again executes statement in a while loop as demonstrated. Output now becomes 10, 8, 1 and 11. And current node now points to current's next which is null. That is, element next to fourth node is null. This signifies that list has reached its end and there are no more elements to traverse. Now when it checks for while loop condition. Current node points to null, therefore while loop condition fails. And loop terminates. Thus, through this demo we saw. How to traverse complete list one by one, and print its element on console. Let's move to Eclipse and see its working through code. In singly linked list class, we create a method by name, display with a return type as void usually interviewer can provide you any list node and ask to write a code to print elements it hold usually this method takes any node we provided head which is first node of list. In an interview, usually head node is given and algorithms is asked to design on that. But in implementing display method in data structure, no need to provide list node as argument. Because we already have an instance variable which points to head. For simplicity we comment out head instance variable. Let's code in display method what we demonstrated in the slide. Create a temporary list node by name current, and make it point to head node.
Before that, we make a check that, if head is null, that is if list is empty, then simply return, as there are no elements to print. Moving further, we loop each element in a linked list till end. Usually last node points to null. Therefore, we create a while loop with a condition that, till current become null, execute few steps in iteration. In, in while loop. First step is to print current node's data. Second step is to move current node to next node. After while loop, current loop points to null, therefore we just print current node to show that list has actually ended. Let's test its working. In our previous tutorial we created a linked list with four nodes. Let's use it. Create an object of singly linked list class. Call its display method by passing head node to it. Let's run this Java program. You can see, it prints each element on the console as demonstrated in the slide. Thus, in this tutorial, we saw how to traverse list nodes one by one, and print data it holds. So friends, go through this video two to three times so that, how to print elements of a linked list in Java, concept gets more clear to you. Hope you like this video. Please give one minute to like, share, comment or subscribe my channel, or you can visit my website at www.hubberspot.com.